Yo, how to film yourself and make it look more organic. That's what we're talking about today in this video. I asked you on my Instagram for some ideas on tutorials and how-to videos, what you would like to see, awesome questions over here. So what we're covering today in this short video is a combination of um, pan, tilt and zoom movement in post with some organic handheld looks, which you can also create in post-production. So the only thing you need to do this is a tripod, no fucking gimbals, no stuff like this no sliders. I'm using Final Cut Pro, you can do this in Premiere Pro as well. I will also link down some um, plugins you can use in Premiere and in Final Cut. So a few days ago I uploaded a new video which you can watch here and um, we take this as an example of how I use this technique all the time in my videos because most time I don't got anyone with me who can film me so I have to film myself. Okay, so here we are in Final Cut Pro X. Um, before we start, let's talk about the camera setup first a little bit. Um, I use the Canon R5 on a tripod, put up simple AF tracking and um, yeah, set up the exposure first for the scene, then I walk into the scene. Yeah, just let it record. Okay, so let's start with the first one. Um, you can do this, as I said, in Premiere Pro as well. Every video editing software I got the option to transform your footage and set up some keyframes. And that's basically what we're doing here. We are setting up a keyframe automation which starts at some point and ends somewhere. Okay, so let's say we want to add a zoom in on this clip. We start by the first frame, go to scale, set a keyframe. It's now at 100%. And now let's jump over to the last keyframe of the clip. And now I'm typing in, let's say 110, hit enter, and it automatically adds another keyframe. And now we got a zoom in effect. I did a video about this like three years ago on the fake camera movements. It's basically the same I'm using all the time. Okay, let's try a pan on this one. Of course, you need to scale up your footage first to make it possible to, to pan it from left to right because let me just show you how this works um okay if i put on the transform over here we can see that if i scale it up we got some space on the borders of the footage so we need that space to move from here to here okay if your footage is at 100 percent we don't got any space left on the left on the right side whatever you like don't set a keyframe yet because we want to position it first. So I'm moving it like over here. Then I set a keyframe at position. Move to the end. And now we want to bring it over here. And you see, there are the keyframes. You can uh, turn off the transformation tool. And if we play it back, there you have your zoom. So it's a bit too fast, I think. So maybe we can dial back by putting it here. Yeah, this looks way better. Okay, let's move to this clip over here. And now I want to add some more motion. Not only zoom in or pan from left to right, but um, using position, rotation and scale at once. So again, keyframes for all the settings because we want to animate all of this. Go to the last frame, pull up some scale, move it a bit to the right and if you want to you can also <laughs> do some rotation. You have to make sure that you got enough space around the footage Otherwise, you got that, um, yeah, that black bars. So we need to scale in a bit more, you see. And this lets us um, add some more rotation as well, okay? And you see, it zooms in, it rotates, and 
it's panning from left to right. So while this looks pretty nice on most footage, um, where you want to draw attention to, let's say, the subject or to the middle of the frame or whatever object is in your frame, um, I like to add some more dynamic to it. And you can do this simply by adding a handheld effect. So if you want to simulate a slider movement, this is fine. You don't need any plugins for this. But if it comes to handheld movement, I like to work with a plugin which is called Cineflare Handheld. It's not free. I don't got any collaboration with them going on. I don't got any uh, affiliate links, whatever. It costs about, let me see. Um, yeah, it costs about $69. It's from FX Factory. Maybe there are some free solutions to this. If you know a free solution, feel free to share it in the comments so others uh, would appreciate that. To be honest, I only use two or three of these tools and this is the one I'm talking about, handheld. But there's so many more auto tracking tools in here which you can use on your project. So uh, pretty nice plugin. You can also do this frame by frame, but I'm way too lazy to do this every time. So I like to work with FX Factory uh, handheld. All we need to do to add some handheld movement is to drag over um, yeah, the, the handheld plugin over your timeline. And depending on how long you make this layer over here, this handheld layer, the more shakiness you get. So this looks like a long lens with some stabilization. And if you make it that short, it gets really intense, okay? So as soon as you decided on how intense your handheld movements should be, you have to make a compound clip. And cut it over here and delete the rest because the handheld movement is on top and we need to get rid of this. Let's try it on this one as well. You see, it, it looks like someone's holding a 72-200 lens with some stabilization on, but still uh, got some motion in it and still got some dynamic um, movement in it. Yes. Often I use this on drone clips as well, because um, it gives you that look of someone is flying in an helicopter right behind you and filming with a long lens. So I like to put this on top as well. And... Yeah, make it a bit more intense. Yeah, that's basically how I like to add some more tension to my footage and make it a bit more dramatic. So the good news is, if you're working on Premiere Pro, um, the guys from Cinecom just made a free pack of handheld effects for Premiere. And I don't know if there's some for Final Cut Pro. Maybe there is. I think so. But I like to use the Cineflare handheld pack. Yeah, so that's it for 220. See you next year. Bye.